Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with... Bum bum bum... What is the name of this game? Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters Capsule JB for the Game Boy. What's that? It is a Game Boy... Uh... <laughs> It's a Game Boy Yu-Gi-Oh game released uh, many, 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 many years ago for Japan only. Never came over here. Uh, if you remember in the show or in the manga, they actually do play uh, monster capsules. It's a thing Mokuba plays with uh, Yugi in the early manga chapters, I'm pretty sure. So, I saw that this was translated by someone, so I'm going to play it. And so here we are as Lightning Strikes as Kaiba... Who at this point, this has to follow the manga, which at this point he was comatose. And he says, it shall be mine. Fwahaha. Alright. Looking devious here, even in Game Boy. Alright. And here's the cover of it. They did not translate the <laughs> start of this one, but it's okay. 2000s, according to this. Story! I love that every single Game Boy Color game just looks like this. After Kaiba... Lost at Def T. Oh, this takes place after Def T. Yes, that would make sense because he's in the coma. His soul was shattered. Uh huh. Concerned. <laughs> Concerned. Hmm. Kaiba. Yugi got an invitation. This is concerning. I've killed this man. This looks great! Ho ho ho! Welcome to Kaiba's Duelist Park. Kaiba is waiting further inside. Please follow me. Look at this! <laughs> Let's go, guys! Something stinks. I bet that Kaiba's up to no good. Uh oh, really? Unfortunately, she doesn't have a voice. She's just girl. I'll be fine, right? Let's go. Yeah. Come on, Bakura, let's go. Okay, but I have a feeling I have a bad feeling about this. Sorry for the English accent. I will attempt to do English from this point on. Well, I might as well go too. I'm old. Go. Poor grandpa, not invited. I knew you'd come, Yugi. Kaiba, I'm glad you're feeling better. <laughs> You know, after the whole mind-wiping your business, I'm glad you recovered. Drop the smile. We're not here to play as friends. What? Cook, cook, cook. Mind doll. Every single person got got. Guys! Kaiba, what did you do to them? I sealed their souls into five separate dolls. You can save them if you go through my duelist tower. Try to conquer my monster world tournament. For each floor's dark master you defeat, you'll win back one of your little doll friends. But, if you, but it won't be all fun and games. If you lose, your Millennium Puzzle will be mine. Very well, I'll play your game, Kaiba. <laughs> then I'll see you at the top floor. Just you wait till I'll win back everyone's souls. Well, this is a terrible situation we found ourselves. Hey! Fo fo fo! Well then, shall I explain the rules? Yes, please. I don't know how to play this game. To start, you'll be given five star chips. You'll wager them to battle other participants. Each player picks up the four monster capsules, aka MCs. To battle with any of the roots his enemy MCs wins, if you lose, you will have to give up a star chip. Lose all your star chips and your MCs and you're out. So be careful out there. You can use your star chips with the capsule machines installed on each floor and get more MCs. And if you collect enough chips, you can challenge the floor's Dark Masters' very own monster world. If you can beat all five floors' Dark Masters, you can challenge Kaiba at the top floor. Well, then I wish you success. <laughs> All right. Hello. Girl! Welcome to Duel Tower. Thanks for joining the Monster World Tournament. Battle the other players to earn star chips. You get MCs to battle with, uh, from capsule machines. Let me know if you need any help. If not, good luck. She just works here, man. It's a capsule machine. Insert star chips? Yes. 
Celtic Guardian level one. Hell yeah. I got the Celtic Guardian. Can I do it again? It's capsule machine. Insert start. Yeah. I got the horn imp. Well, that's all I need, right? Boy. Hey, do you want to MC battle me? Sure. I have the Celtic Guardian. Um, let's go with presets. Celtic Guardian. It's the Celtic Guardian. Okay. The Horn Imp. Horn Imp can be over here. Alright. What am I doing? What, what, what? There we go. Is this okay? Yes. Your move! Uh, I guess who do I move in this instance? The Horn Imp or Celtic Guardian? You know what, Horn Imp? You got this, buddy. You got it. Act. I can't attack. So I'll wait. Turn one, my move. Beaten! Attack with Beaten Beam! Beaten got a field bonus. Accuracy up, damage up. Chance to hit Horn Imp is 78%! Ah, you missed. He did not miss. He, in fact, hurt my horn imp. Alright. Imp. Get up in that bug. Imp punch. 79%? You got this, homie. He's never had this more. 7. Critical hit! 8 damage. That's right. His move. I have a feeling horn imp is going to die. Oh, wait. He can't attack me. He's stuck. The fool. Horn Imp has him in the Imp Lock. Go. Eight. That's another critical hit. Oh, this thing's dead. Beaten is not going to live for this. He's just running back and forth, my guy. You ain't, you ain't winning. You're running away. You're dead. Get out of here. This is the third critical hit I'm about to get on Beaten. Watch. I wonder why they're doing it. 83. I missed. Beaten took no damage. That's not good. I don't know if it's actually related, what it's related to now, now that I think about it. Maybe if I can get him out of this damn forest. Attack with Imp Punch. 79%. Let's go. This has to hit. 76? Very little damage, but it's okay. Beaten is dead. You win. Each monster gain 25 EXP. You get a star chip. Okay. Save would be a good idea. Save the game. Let's look at Yugi real quick. I have four star chips. I have four. I have... Let's look at our data real quick. He's a type light. His range. He's level one. What about Horn Imp? I feel like the answer here is to go into the gotcha. We have a formation. Okay, we're gonna go back into the gotcha. Give him a star chip. Great paw. Another one. Come on, baby. I'm feeling lucky. The Armorsaurus. And what's this one? Cobrada. <laughs> I've never heard of some of these monsters. I know Celtic Guardian and the Imp. No can do, you're down to your last star chip. <gasps> Wait a minute. Did I just waste all my life gambling? So if I just lose, I lose my star chip and I'm out of the game? Well, it's a good thing I have my good buddy Cobrata and Armorsaurus <laughs> and Great Paw. <laughs> Whatever, I'm about to sweep these dudes up. They ain't ready for me. You, boy! I spent all my star chips on MCs. Battle? Yes. We're going to battle, boy. I'm gonna place these manually. Okay, so... I think we need Celtic Guardian in the mix. Put him in. Do we have anyone here who, like, would be type... I think Great Paul is a plains type. He must do good in the plains. 
What about Cobrada? Oh, type forest. We live in the forest. Now I feel like Cobrada and uh, get Emperor too close together, but it's fine. Can I just play all of them? Yes. Okay, so I can play four. Turn one, your move. Okay, so this thing... The beaten beam. Okay, that's how it shoots, but four type forest. Okay, so that means if I send out my snake... He's not gonna have... Oh, but the snake attacks diagonally. Okay, turn one, my move. Your move, creep. Okay. So, let me see. So he, sh he hits diagonally. So that means that this guy will just never be able to hit me. Attacks with bite. Beat an 83% chance this guy is dead. I realize that higher rolls are bad, and this is what you, I actually want a low roll. I missed. <laughs> How did I miss? <laughs> Cobrata, I need you to up your game just a little bit. Uh-oh. Well, now this unfortunate circumstance, because now the Celtic Guardian is in danger. Alright, alright, come here, Celtic Guardian. I can't have you getting murked. Are you serious, Celtic Guardian? Can you not attack? You can only attack from the most weirdest angle. Uh, I should be fine, right? What about you, Great Paul? Great Paul also attacks in a very weird manner. I feel like my answer here is to move up the Horn Imp. And wait. Because Horn Imp, he's gonna attack Horn Imp, but it's fine. No, I really he's not. Ow. Uh, I think Celtic Guardian should be fine. I think if I actually just hit him with Cobra, Cobrata will eventually kill him. One, that's a super critical hit. That has to deal like all the damage. Twelve? Psh. You better run, fool. Because Cobrata's got your name and your number. 34, whatever. He can take it. They're both big dudes. My move. Alright, Cobrata. Get his ass. Uh, I did a wrong move. Get his ass. You got him. Bite him. 37. That should be death. He should not be living. Yeah, beat him success the damage and is out of here. 25 EXP for everyone and a star chip. Thank you very much. Small child, you've lost. The jukebox is playing a catchy tune. Alright. What is this? It's a crane game. It's filled with cute plushes. Yugi unconcerned about cute plushes at the moment. We save the game. Let's have another battle. I'll definitely become the champion. Battle? Yes. Alright, boy. Uh, let me place manually. I mean... I think we gotta keep Cobrata up in the mix. This is a definitely- is this a forest, actually? I actually don't know if this is a for for forest or not. It's not a wasteland. Oh, but it's a plains, I bet. That means Great Paul will work great in here. I'm bringing in Great Paul. Then may as well, because I'm already leveling up. Celtic Guardian. Uh, Armorsaurus. You know what, Armasaurus could use a little bit of help. Oh, it's this little fucking guy again. Is all these kids think that they can cut step up to me with what looks like Beaten. Beaten and his damn beam ain't gonna do anything, my guys. Act. Unfortunately, Big Great Paw can only attack from the sides. <laughs> That's alright. Please don't attack Celtic Guardian. Okay, Great Paw. No, he's not even going for Great Paw. Attacks with the Gale Slash. Ooh, field bonus. Accuracy up, damage up, chance to help beat in is 83%. Come on. Low, low roll, low roll, low roll. Come on. Great paw. What are you doing? You're screwing up, man. I don't know why he's choosing to not attack me. I can certainly attack. And I am going to, with my field bonus. So this is kind of like a combination of what old Yu-Gi-Oh was like. Combined with weird chess and, like, tactics games. Man, I really miss when Yu-Gi-Oh! games used to be, like, weird and not really 
related to Yu-Gi-Oh. They're more related to, like, the idea of Yu-Gi-Oh when it started, which is many different, like, actual games in it. And this definitely is one. 70! Great Paul, you are not doing the greatest in the world. He was defeated, though. I got a star chip. Thank you. Now, I don't have to worry about losing to these guys. All they got is fucking beaten. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the gotcha. Uh, insert star chip. You got it. Bigfoot, level one. Who's next? Mowgli. I need to see Mowgli. I, I need to see Bigfoot. Show me Bigfoot. That's a Bigfoot. <laughs> and no, that, that that is actually. I find isn't this guy from the manga? I could have sworn I remembered Mowgli. He looks familiar. He does look. He does look like a lot like Grand Mole before he became a Neospatian. I wonder what this is. It's a large scale racing game. Can I talk to her? This is the MC help deck. Do you have any MC related questions? Ask. Uh, the idea is to win star chips from MC battles. Earn enough to challenge a Dark Master, and if you beat their monster world, you can go to. F oh wait, I should have been saving them. Huh. Yeah, don't. So that means if I go up here... I have been using all of this to gamble. I just realized... Yugi! Oh, it's this guy! He's the the little dude from the the early parts of the manga. He's the one, the guy who was getting bullied and they go to the, the karaoke together. Did you know you can get MCs from capsule machines? Hey, I know. How about you and I have a battle? Uh, yes. Hopefully he has more than... Okay. Place manually. So obviously we gotta get Great Paw. Someone here is, like, good in the waste. Oh, dark. Horn Imp? That's clearly darkness up ahead. Cobrada, forest. I can't do him. Mowgli, forest. Bigfoot, forest. Armosaurus, wasteland? I think this might count as a wasteland. I'll bring in Celtic Guardian, because he's Celtic Guardian, and we'll go with this. <gasps> this guy has more. Turn one, your move. Fuck. You know what? I think I'm going to advance Horn Imp into the darkness. Unfortunately, his, his, he doesn't really attack much. This guy better not murk me from here. Okay. Let me look at the data real quick. Can I look at the data here? Speed. Fast. That's a password system. Uh, we'll move. Act and hope that he gets Horn Imp attacks with Ice Imp Punch. Oh, chance to hit Torigun, 82%. Come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Are you kidding me? I've missed every single beginning one. This is rigged. Torigun attacks with Noble Slash. So, ah, oh, but you only got field advantage? Get out of here, man. You ain't gonna do nothing to the horn, Dim. You watch this, Beetle. You're getting this next as soon as uh, my dude is done here fighting Trigun. Or whatever his name is, Torigo Gun. Eight critical hit. Six damage, baby. Six full damage. <gasps> he moved the little bee. But it's okay. Because I think if we just get another one here at full advantage, we're gonna win. And I actually want him to get closer because I want Great Paul to um, have a chance at him. This guy is not... Is, this is like his boss monster? How is he... Torigun, level 1. He's 18. He's 18! Hit him. Imp Punch. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose my field advantage if he goes any further. 41? That's not bad. But he ain't dead. All right, your turn. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what, what, wait, what? Is he hitting my guy? Oh, shit. I didn't expect him to actually try and hit my guy. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, I'm in a very bad situation here. Because I think the Horned Imp, if he does not get out of here, he's going to get more... Damn! Why is Torgun like, the world's tankiest dude? All right. Come on, you have to be dead with this next move. He has to be. I refuse to believe that he survives another imp punch. That's enough. 
he survived it. <laughs> Turn seven. Feed and attacks with the beaten beam. No. Why are you... Uh-oh. Five. What the fuck? This thing can hit two things at once? Uh, that's not good. Alex? I mean, this has to hit and this has to kill. 64, that hits. I don't know if it kills. It kills. He's defeated. Alright. Great Paw, this is where you come in. This is where he just completely marks this little insect guy. Eat Gale Slash. I can't believe Great Paw almost missed. <laughs> My Great Paw is failing me. Uh, it's okay, this guy, it doesn't matter if you get closer to me. You, it just means you can't attack me. 93%, get out of here, you're dead. You're dead, son. Yeah, you're out of here. Beat and took 10 damage and was defeated, you're damn right. Each monster gained 50. Great Paw has leveled up, level 2. Thank you, Horned Imp leveled up. Celtic Guardian leveled up. And I got a star chip from that. Figures you'd win. I'd have given it hard to try. Alright. Well, that was a named character that I beat, but I don't think he's the one. It's a juice of ending machine. But I don't think he's actually the one I'm supposed to be going for. I <laughs> think I have to now... Oh. Oh, it's the freaking creepy... Creepy guy. The one that was that tried the drug um, Taya or Anzu, depending on how you want to say it. You know what? I think I'm going to continue this on a later day. This was supposed to be just me checking it out, but I'm kind of digging everything about this. <laughs> so I'm going to save up. I will continue this at a later day. And I'll say that's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I did not expect to end up liking this as much, but I think they kind of got me the second that this looked like the Pokemon trading card game uh, for the Game Boy. Just with Yu-Gi-Oh, which, which sounds amazing. Why didn't we get a single version of the card game with this art style? <laughs> it's astounding to me. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.